Welcome to another In the Mood to Scrap video presented by Two Peas in a Bucket. My name is Jana Werner and today it's banner time. I'm still desperately waiting for summertime and I thought it would be fun to have a few summer colors like red, yellow, blue and a few party things like banners. And maybe you remember this huge banner trend, I think it was one year ago, when everyone had these super cool and funky banners just beneath the photos. I really loved that, but I, I rarely did that, so I thought, why not doing it today? I gathered a few pictures on my Pinterest board and I was really inspired by the the banners that had words on them that you can see on the bottom left and the triangles and circles on the top right so i really wanted to incorporate those in my in my layout and this is what i came up with i have a very heavy banner right beneath the photo and i have a rather light one on top of the page let me quickly show you the supplies that i'm using I had those word banners by Dear Lizzie and the other banners here with butterflies and triangles and I really did not want to use them. I would rather want to cut them myself. I have photo and I print the photos myself. I'm using a Canon selfie and I think that's very convenient although it's a bit more expensive than having them printed by a printing station or printing service. The papers and embellishments, they are all from the LZ 5th and Frolic and the Lucky Charm collection that was recently released. Let's move on to creating the page. The center of my layout is the photo and I'm cutting the tissue paper or crepe paper um, with my scissors and I start creating a banner. I'm only using papers that I've already used before, so I'm not cutting a new paper. I'd rather take the scraps that I have. I'm using my scissor to create those banners, as I said, and I'm not only cutting banners, but triangles and circles and squares. And you know that I don't really care whether the things are straight or not. In this case, I am trying to create imperfect circles like you find them in a lot of collections at the moment and you see i just try out both sides of the paper trying to find out which looks best and i'm mixing colors and patterns i have the mood board in my mind the summer colors so I try to incorporate blue yellow and red I am cutting out letters from pattern paper and I will use those letters for my title in the end right now they are beneath lying beneath the photo but I will move them to the top left um, while I'm working on the layout you see I'm not measuring anything I rarely do that. I just take my photo as a measurement and arrange the papers right behind the photo. This is a good way to to use scraps. If you have smaller pieces of paper, don't throw them away. You can use them like I am doing now. And again, I'm mixing colors and patterns. I'm using a small circle punch to punch out those dots from one of the papers and I will arrange them randomly on the, on the layout. And I'm also using the scraps from the punch out paper and I will put those scraps on the top left. On top of this scrap I'm arranging triangles that I'm cutting right now and on top of those triangles I will put the words love that are beneath the photo at the moment. Here you can see that I'm actually um, adding a word banner, one from the Dear Lizzie collection, the Dream. Um, I'm not using it but during creating the layout I thought it would 
look really nice. In the end, it didn't fit anymore. And here I am collecting letters um, for the word space and I am putting them on my table. You can't see that right now. But I'm using different fonts and colors to create the, the title. The entire title will be Love My Space. I want to sew on my top banner with the word love and I want to make sure that the pieces stay in place so I'm using a bit of glue to fix them. Here you can see the result. And I'm letting the thread hang on both sides to get to add a little detail and looks a bit more playful like that. Now I'm going back to the center of the page and start gluing the paper on top of each other. And I'm not using glue on the entire piece of paper but only on parts because this looks um, a bit more fluffy. I don't know a better word but I think you know what I mean. I'm decorating the tag with a bit of twine. This is a rather thick twine because I want to emphasize the part. The photo um, for the photo, I am using dimensional foam dots to create more dimension on the page. So the photo pops out a bit more. The banner that I will be adding later is quite heavy, and if I don't use those foam dots, the the photo will like disappear because the banner is so heavy. And therefore, I am using the foam dots to get the picture a bit higher to let it pop out of the page. And now I'm starting to create the banner and I'm using glue to uh, adhere the crepe paper but if you want the crepe paper to be seen and you don't use anything on top of it you better take a transparent um, adhesive like those like those um, adhesive thingies on the right, the pink one because the glue will shine through the crepe paper and here I'm still fighting with the word dream and decided to not use it in the end instead I started gluing the pieces together that will create the banner beneath the photo and like the banner on top I am using a bit of glue to fix each piece of paper and it's easier to sew on top of them. As you can see here it looks really nice when the papers are lying a bit on top of each other. I had the idea to create a floating title so I took a piece of transparent foil and put the letters on top of it. And I cut the word space out of the transparent foil so it's not that heavy because you would see the transparent piece if you really have a close look at it. And um, I am adding masking tape here and if you have a look at the, at the word space you will see that I used a white letter in the beginning and I think it might be smarter to use a letter that pops out of the page because I mean if you see it in real you can see that there is a letter but on the photos you, you rarely see it the the P the red letter pops out way more than the S so if you want to create um, a title like that on a white page you might prefer using a more colorful letter in the in the beginning of the word if you use a white background that is. And you can see now that I'm adding a few more embellishments. I'm uh, adding chipboard stickers uh, like arrows and even more banners and flowers and a heart and buttons. Everything that looks playful and joyful because the entire page is supposed to show how much I love my, my space, my workspace. I'm adding a bit more washi tape on top and on the bottom part. I'm adding a date 
and a bit of journaling about my workspace. Yeah, and that's it. That's the entire page. It's a rather clean and simple page with lots of layering um, in the middle part. And as you can see in the mood board, uh, I used a lot of the banner inspiration that I collected. I also incorporated the summer-like color scheme of the mood board. And here you can see the page and a close-up of the banner. And my challenge for you today is to create a scrapbooking page and to use banners in any way that you would like to incorporate them. If you want to draw them, if you use chipboard stickers or paper, anything. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you soon. Bye bye.